14 and in verse 26. And everything about the Holy Ghost can be summarized in this one verse of the Bible. And I thank Jesus for speaking these words. So nobody will say these are the words of Paul. These are the words of Peter. These are the words of our Lord Jesus himself. What did he say? But the comforter, Ashakabaya, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things. Oh my God, he gave him two words in that scripture, two names. The first name is the name the comforter. The second name is the name the teacher. So there is the comforter and there is the teacher. I want, you to, I want to teach something this morning that changes your life. You have the comforter in the Holy Ghost and you have the teacher in the Holy Ghost. You have two persons functioning, one person functioning in two different dimensions. Listen to me. Anyone you want, he is to you. Anytime you see a Christian whose life is perfect, can I define perfection for you? The person say, I do not fault in my, in my righteousness. I don't fault at the place of prayer. I do not fault at the place of coming to church. I do not fault at the place of my covenant. I do not fault God at the place of my relationship with God. I take the communion as often as possible. I don't miss the communion. That is a perfect Christian life. You know what that person has? That person has the comfort dimension of the Holy Ghost. Because under the comfort, he say, he say he, he, there is the comforter. The word comfort means relax. The word comfort means ease. I will send you a man that will ease your life. So if I need grace to come to church, he supplies it. If I need grace to, uh, to pay my tithe, he supplies it. I need grace to live in righteousness. The Holy Ghost help me. That is what the role of the comforter. Now, that is a good realm to be, to be, oh my God, to be under the uh, protection of the comforter. But there is another dimension called the teaching dimension of the Holy Ghost. You know what happens to those he teach? It takes them from where they are to where they need to be. And in most cases, it pushes them even though they don't want to move. Why the first is comforted, the second is being taught. Is not following the Bible. You see, there are things I know about God that are not in the Bible. Am I talking to you because I am not working with the comforter. I am moving with the teacher. You see, the teacher shows you new things. The comforter pets you about the things you already know. 